And we return to book 23 of Homer's epic poem, The Iliad, where the funeral games are being held for Patroclus. Now, if you are just stumbling across this video for the first time, or have yet to catch up to this point, then down in the description below is a link to a playlist where you can listen to the entire Iliad as it is being recorded. But if you have caught up, then without further ado and no more stalling for time, we begin with book 23 of the Iliad, where with Hector's death, Achilles' vow is mostly fulfilled, but his rage is still not satisfied. He does, however, push it aside temporarily to mourn over the loss of his friend, Patroclus. His attempts are in vain, however, as he quickly vents out his anger by abusing Hector's corpse and vows that he will not wash the blood from Hector's corpse until he has buried Patroclus. And when he is finally exhausted from abusing Hector's body, he falls asleep upon the beach, and he is awoken in the middle of the night with Patroclus' restless spirit, visits him, asking him why he has forgotten him and his rights. He yearns to cross over as he cannot yet enter the land of the dead without his body first being burned. When Achilles agrees to bury him in the morning, Patroclus asks him one final favor, that since Achilles' death should come a scant few days after Hector's, that their bones be placed within the same urn when Achilles meets his fate. Achilles reaches out to Patroclus with tears in his eyes, but his corporeal flesh is unable to grasp the ethereal soul of the dead. And the following morning, the Achaeans build a funeral pyre for Patroclus. The pyre is surrounded by sacrificed animals and treasures galore. But before the flames are set, Achilles slits the throat of the twelve captive Trojans and casts them onto the freshly lit fire, alongside a lock of hair that he had been growing out for his return home. Achilles knows that this lock will not come home with him, for he will not return from, Tro from the Troy's beaches, or even from the city itself. As the flames eat away at Patroclus, Achilles vows that the dogs will devour Hector's corpse, but Apollo and Aphrodite have other plans, and keep Hector's body safe, both from the elements of decay and from the animal's hunger. To supplement the funeral, Achilles has organized funeral games for the other champions to compete for prizes. Young Diomedes wins the chariot race with the aid of Athena. But Nestor's son, Antiklus, nearly killed Menelaus during the race with his youthful competitive spirit. This could have been horrible for the Achaean war effort as, once again, Menelaus is the reason why they're at war for Troy. Should he die, they don't have a reason for war, and the Casus Belli is lost. As a result, he appeases Menelaus by giving up his second-place prize to the older king of Sparta. Odysseus and great Ajax both wrestle and tie the match, splitting the prize evenly. Now this does foreshadow some things that will happen, not within the Iliads, but later on to the great Telamon and Ajax. That Ajax is not Odysseus' uh, better. He is in fact his equal. And when Odysseus beats him later on for Achilles' prize, it does not end well and will result in, in his own death itself. Odysseus wins the foot race with a collection of other minor games are played throughout the day as well. Achilles even honors Agamemnon with first prize during the spear throw, despite not having him compete within the contest itself. And with that, Book 23 of the Iliad, a nice calm lull from the fighting comes to a close. Now if you are enjoying this, then don't hesitate to give it a like and leave me a comment on letting me know what I can do to improve. But, if you would like a copy of the Iliad, you can pick up a copy of the Iliad and the Odyssey down in the description below with both translated by Samuel Butler using the Amazon affiliate link. And with that, I wish everyone the best and look forward to seeing you next time. Take care everyone.